Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? It's your boy Gavin Assidy here again with you and since today is Thursday, we are going to be doing our first episode of Storytime Thursday. And for this episode, I will be talking to you guys about my failed attempt at getting into parkour. It's a really funny story and I'll get to that in a minute. But just to start off, I want to name my friends that I'm going to be talking about just because I will be talking about them a lot in, in these stories. And uh, they're my best friends, so I'm going to go through them because you're going to hear their names a lot. We got Angel. Uh, I met him in sixth grade, one of my really good buddies. Uh, then we got Ricky and Mo. And, like, these guys are my friends. Like, I will die for these guys. Like, they're cool as fuck. But so to get on with the story, my, uh, my friend Mo and Ricky, mostly Mo, he, he, he met this kid who was like, oh, dude, let's just, like, do parkour like parkour that was like fre this is freshman year of high school like parkour was like starting you'd start to see a lot of parkour on youtube and stuff so like everybody's like yeah i want to try this parkour it looks so cool free running you like jump off buildings and do flips and shit so everybody was boarding the parkour train including my friend mo he met this kid like i said who was just like wanted to start doing parkour and stuff and got him like into it so i went with them me and angel we went with Mo and this other guy, and we were, like, testing out this parkour stuff. Like, we were doing little stuff, like, going on top of a garage and stuff. I mean, I guess I, you could really kind of get in trouble if somebody saw us, but we never did. So we were jumping on, on people's roofs and, and their garage roofs and stuff and uh, just, like, running around trying this, like, parkour stuff. We weren't doing anything extreme, no, like, backflips or nothing like that. We were just, like, straight, just, like, climbing the top of buildings. Not not even, like, big buildings, but that'll come into play later. So we got into the parkour stuff, and I was like, dude, this is so cool, and, like, I want to be so good at this, blah, blah, like, you could, like, running, blah, I don't know. I just thought it was cool as hell, and so did everybody else at the time. So they go... This they go to this one building. It's, it's across the street from my high school. It's literally like in the back parking lot of our high school. So there's a lot of people there during the school time, school like day. But anyways, they go like late at night, maybe like 11 at night. We uh, went out and got on top of this like it's there. There's a Costco there now, but it was like a Office Max or like a Staples. I can't remember what it was at the time, but we went on top of that building. And I just thought it was so cool, like, oh, we're up so high, we can see, like, you know, over the buildings and stuff. So, like, I don't know, I just thought it was, like, cool as hell. And the way we got up there was, there was, like, this parked semi-truck where they would unload, like, the supplies and the merchandise and bring it into the store. And it was just, like, the container part of, the, like, what would be on a semi-truck. So, we climbed up, like, on, I can't remember what it was, I wanted to just say, let's say, like, a generator or something climbed up on there and then climbed up onto the top of the the shipping container and then from there climbed onto the top of the building and then there was a few more steps and I just remember it was like so cool because it's late at night like oh dude like my first I'm so badass right now I was a freshman in high school I, I was so freaking stupid but you know I, like I really enjoyed doing that and I was like oh dude this is so fun I want to tell Ricky about this let's get Ricky to do it too so I tell Ricky about it and I'm like, dude, let's let's go climb on top of the, the the staples again. Like, let's do it. Let's go tomorrow. And then tomorrow, or the next day, I should say, happened to be report guard pickup day. And I'm just probably, like, the stupidest kid at this point because I picked report card pickup day to go on top of this building. So, and, like, the worst time, like, report pickup Report card pickup was probably like 6 to 8 or something like that. And then I decided to like, let's go around 7, whatever. It was already dark at the time. And and we were in the parking lot. So we and we go behind the, sh the shipping container to like go up on top of the building. And I'm sitting there like looking out. Like I see all these cars passing by. We were like, oh, dude, let's find the perfect time. And we'll just climb up on this container and go up on the building. Dude, you'll see how cool it is. It's, it's fun as hell. And then... Ricky was like, yeah, yeah, sure, man, let's do it. And then 
I'm looking, I keep peeking, I keep seeing like all these cars passed by. We never had like a really good opportunity to go. So I was just like, dude, screw this. Let's just like go another time. So I like climbed down because I was on top of the generator thing looking through like a little uh, like space where I could see all the cars and stuff. And then I, uh, this was back when pegs were cool on bikes. So Ricky was riding the bike and I was on the pegs. And as we were riding through the parking lot, this cop pulls us over. And the first thing he says to us is, oh, we have two people dressed in black riding on a bike doing something suspicious. And we were like, okay. And then the fir my first thought is we saw another group of kids. It was just so random, like two kids on a bike on pegs. And I was like, yeah, we saw some kids pass by. I was trying to be slick thinking he was just going to be like, oh, and let us go. Then he pulls us, he gets out of his car and he starts talking to us and, and he's like, so what were you guys doing back? We, we, we heard there was kids back behind the, the shipping container. What were you guys doing back there? And, dude, I just start freaking the fuck out. Like, I never got in trouble with anything, let alone the law. So, dude, I, it was so embarrassing. Like, I just started bawling. Like, I was, like, the most scared I've ever been in my life at that point. I was just crying and crying and crying. I was a freshman in high school, and, like, all these parents and students are passing by and they're just looking at us and I'm sitting there crying and then they start and then they call some more cops over and then there was like three or four squad cars and the cops were just like you know what were you guys doing back there and we we're trying to explain to them the whole like parkour thing and they're they're like searching our pockets they're like oh do you got weed on you you got weed on you blah 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 and then we we're just sitting there like I'm like no like answering their questions while I'm crying like sniffling and it was just so bad for me I was like so scared and Ricky the whole time like kept his cool it was the funniest shit ever like he was just like no yeah like giving them one word answers like did not give a fuck like that they were cops at all like he was like dude the most composed dude I felt like shit like I'm sitting there crying my eyes out and then they're like oh we're gonna have to call your parents uh, you're gonna have to call them to come pick you up and and like I'm sitting there thinking like I'm going to jail and they were like Oh, what are your grades look like and at the time I had like decent grades So I was like oh A's and B's whatever while I was crying and then they were like, oh, okay Well, we'll call your parents and then they're gonna have to we're gonna have to sort this out So the whole time in the end they thought we were back there smoking weed So they were just so concerned about like oh, let's bust these kids for smoking weed behind the the shipping container that they didn't even care about the whole parkour thing and that we were like literally about to climb on top of a building and which honestly it could have been like trespassing or what I mean I don't know but they did not give a shit at all about the parkour thing like we told them about it and they're like oh oh okay if that's what you guys are doing I mean it's I guess it's not that big of a deal and they were just they just like they milked it though and embarrassing me even more like they made me take a picture with my hands on the squad car and just like while I was like crying and my face was all red. So they make me take a picture and like I got to find it because it was like on one of my really old phones and I still have it. If I can find it, I'll post it for you guys. It was just honestly, it was so funny now that I look back at it. But like I was such a baby and then my dad had to come and uh, talk and sort it out. And like I they were just ended up just letting us go and they were like, go home. And I'm sitting there riding my bike because I had a bike. It was my bike and we couldn't put it in the car so I couldn't get a ride back home. So I had to ride my bike back home. And I'm sitting there like crying, riding my bike home and people are looking at me. And it, it was just like, I look back and it was so funny. And like, why was I even scared in the first place? Like all I had to do is just simply answer their questions. It was like not even a big deal. But I was just so scared of getting in trouble. I was sitting there bawling my eyes out. Like, honestly, that might have been, like, the hardest I've ever cried in my life. It was just really funny. But, yeah, that's it for my... my. And after that, dude, I, I never even got back into parkour. Like, I was like, fuck that shit. Like, I do not want to get in trouble like that again. Like, that just made me realize about, like, I could actually get in trouble for things. But, yeah, that's, that's my, my parkour fail story for you guys. And that's it for the first episode of Story Time Thursday. Uh, I got, I got, I was talking to my friends and we got so many, so many stories right now to go through. And uh, I think next time we'll talk about the time we got pulled over trying to go to laser tag. It, that was a really funny story too. But if you guys like this video, please leave a like. 
comment what you guys want to see next. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, you guys have a good one.